I'm running late, so I gotta leave. But uh, Hotel 31 in Paris. Obviously, I'm not sponsored. It is a decent location. The hotel, you know, the, the room I'm in, is, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's got a good shower and everything. I showed you it yesterday. Um, good, the bed is comfortable, all that stuff. Damn, I'm, and I'm, I'm really tired. I'm, I'm flipping overslept. I need to get to this place by 9 a.m. It's almost 8.20. Apparently, it takes half an hour to get there. And there's traffic, apparently. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a good hotel. It's a good hotel. It's a 20-minute walk from the Eiffel Tower. It's not too expensive. Um, it's not a big hotel. It's like a little block in the middle of the shops. But it's got quite a few floors and quite a lot of rooms. And uh, they speak English in the reception. They speak French, obviously. I don't know about other languages, but they probably do speak other languages as well. Because I saw some uh, Spanish people come in as well. Um, yeah, and also they can book a taxi for you anywhere you want. Um, and they'll get there within like five, ten minutes. So th that is a very good thing to have. Obviously, a lot of hotels have that anyway, but yeah, it's very helpful. And uh, they know where things are, you know, they know how to get to certain places and they'll help you out. So, uh, yeah, can't complain. It's an 8 out of 10 hotel. It's very good. The only reason it's not a 9 out of 10 is because, like, you know, uh, <laughs> it could be a bigger room. But, you know, you get a flat screen TV, which I did not expect for my price. I didn't pay that much for this hotel. And you get that. I didn't even use it, but yeah, and you can make your hot drinks. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, I got to check out, leave my luggage here and then go to some places, come back and go to the airport. So uh, this should be a fun day, but the start will be stressful. Let's do this. I'm at the home of former French royalty, the Palace of Versailles. It looks stunning, doesn't it? My word. Is that all? Oh, that's crazy, man. It's bigger than I thought it would be. When I say bigger, I don't mean like, uh, I'm not surprised how big it is. I mean like the amount of different <laughs> buildings. It's crazy. That gate wasn't even the bloody entrance. Oh my word, man. I got myself an audio guide. I thought while I'm here, I might as well learn some French history in English.
I rushed out the hotel without breakfast, so I had to stop by and, uh, at the restaurant midway through the tour. This is crazy. Uh, most of the rooms are just like all painting, so I'm not gonna like show all of it, but yeah, it's, it's mad. There, there's a lot of uh, good things inside, and uh, not as much audio actually. Only a few bits of audio, but it was still cool seeing all these paintings and the King's Chamber, stuff like that, and the Gallery of Battles. It was cool. It's, it's really cool. I forgot what this is, but I'm gonna try it. And I got a mini macaroni here, two of them. Never tried that either. I thought I'd try a bit of uh, French snacks. This has got to be the poshest looking bottle of water I've ever seen in my life. You see how fancy those gender signs look. Oh, look I don't want to keep filming it because people come out. Um, the water is nice. That was a good breakfast. It wasn't healthiest, but it was a good breakfast. The sandwich was good as well. It felt really filling. On today's episode of yet more spending we've got this bag which yes it costs to buy that bag and obviously inside the bag we have got a hat a hat to remember this palace by also got a pack of uh, french playing cards don't know why i got it to be fair but it's, it's the poshest looking set of cards i've seen so this should be fun this wait let me focus it there we go it's upside down, sorry. Now that is perfection. It really is. The tour is over, but you get to access the gardens as well. And it's quite nice. The queue is pretty big though. So let me just get in there. Now that is one beautiful view. Apparently there's a night fountain show and these light up. If only I knew. Wow. Just wow. This was someone's home, you know. Someone lived here. Royalty. If you're a king or queen here, you just have all of this. It's, it's crazy. It's just one big bloody garden. <laughs> My shoes are so mudded after this couple of days. I need to get new ones and also wash these. This is why you don't have like two pairs of shoes and one's your work shoes. This is why you don't do this. I, I can kind of see why girls have so many shoes now, but then again, I don't. Why would you buy 50 pairs? But I should have more than two. <laughs> Imagine being a kid. <laughs> Just have, having fun here. Your dad's the king. Once again, this was someone's house. I'd just like to remind you one more time. <laughs> Someone lived there. <laughs> right, it's almost midday. It's actually half an hour to Paris. I aim to interview the next, uh, next activity at 1 p.m. and then the one after at 2 p.m. There's no times on these, but these are like any times between like morning and six. So I got time, but I wanted to get there in the afternoon so then I can have a nice meal and then go back to my hotel, get my luggage, go straight to the airport. Let me try and find a taxi. Hopefully there's some at the entrance and then we'll be on our way to Paris. Uh, my, one of my cards got declined, even though I got money on it. What's going on? I think because like I, I paid by the card, I paid contactless on my taxi and on the uh, shop. No, what on the restaurant actually? So when I paid in the shop, it probably thought it was fraud. I don't know. I'm in France, mate. You know I'm in France. Why are you why are you not letting it through? No one told me this was a thing. Look. Then again, where would I fit it in? Last night, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> So, next up is the Arc de Triomphe. Did you know you can go to the roof? 
Yeah, I didn't know this until I looked it up on Get Your Guide. But you can go to the roof. You gotta go by steps, there's no lift. Um, it's bigger than it looks on screen. It's huge. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for this climb, but um, last night's McDonald's calories are not gonna burn themselves. So I think there's probably a good idea that I'm doing this. And after this, there's a relaxing activity to end and then I'm gonna eat and then I'm off to the airport. But this will be the last bit that will be rather tiring, I guess. But I also got my ticket to yesterday's bus store. It's still valid for 24 hours. Where is it? It's there. It's behind there. There we go. And that stops at the Eiffel Tower. And what I'm doing next is near the Eiffel Tower. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save taxi money and just use that because it's gonna be free for me. Well, I mean, I paid for it, but it's 24 hours valid. I also know that because the bus stops there, the entrance is right next to the bus. The entrance is there somewhere. So that's good. At least I know where it is. I think I know why my card was declined. It doesn't accept contactless over 50 euros. I'm assuming that's a like foreign foreign policy thing. It's all good. At least I know now because I just paid for a taxi like that was like 48. No problems. So it was definitely a, a limit. I think I've got a skip the line ticket, which is good. Damn. I was wondering how you can get to the middle. It's through there. Okay. Apparently, I've still got to wait in line. You did say, like, skip the line access. There's an arrow saying priority access. Apparently, I, this is still the line I gotta stay in. Something seems fishy. I bought my souvenirs before going up there. There is a very nice figure of the Octrium that goes well with my big Eiffel Tower. I got a keyring for my mum. I think she'll like this one. And I got my own keyring of the Triumph. I'm not necessarily going to put all of these on to be honest because last time I put so many on, half of them fell off. But as souvenirs, I think keyrings are a good way to go. So uh, yeah, and they go in this nice bag here. Yeah. Okay. You sold me. When was that? That walk was worth it. are breathtaking. Not as high as the Eiffel Tower but you know it's high enough for a great view of Paris. I was trying to get the Eiffel Tower on camera. There it is. There we go. Most you know, so of the people are on this side. No wonder. Now that might be a thumbnail or part of it. And that's it. I took some photos on my phone as well. I'm using my camera since I got up here and uh, yeah I've not been here 10 minutes and I'm going back down again. Downstairs is much easier. So, we've got just one more thing to do in Paris. There's a lot less queues after I leave. Well, it does say valid until Tuesday. So, uh, waiting for this bus. So there's the map that starts at the Eiffel Tower, number one. And then we are number eight here. So number eight, number nine. 
drugs in, and then I get off there to do something else. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. One year a bottle of water as well, you know, got to keep hydrated. It's quite packed at the top, and I've already been on this tour, so I thought I'd just stay on the bottom, give other people the, uh, the space. Yep, I don't know if you guessed it already, but the last thing they're doing is a boat tour. And this is a literal company that I got. A get, get Your Guide was the thing I booked through, but this is what it says on the guide. So, is it that? Is it, that's not a boat, is it? <laughs> that's a ticket office, but I think this is where I scanned my ticket. Nope, didn't have to go there, but I had to go to number three, which I know already. Number two is that, number three. Until the complete stop on board for the entire crew, wishes you a great stay in Paris. Thanks for your visit. Thank you. Why not buy a crap right under the Eiffel Tower? That was a nice one hour boat tour. Relaxing, not too cold, not too warm, sunny, good weather. The weather's been nice the last couple of days, which is perfect timing. And the only downside is the bench was uncomfortable, to be honest. The bench was just really hard to sit on, but good views, good views, really worth it. I got a Nutella one. This is really hot, by the way. I couldn't hold it, even with the tissue. It's crazy. That is pretty good, though. Like, as soon as you order it, that's when they make it, and it, then they make it pretty quickly as well. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this. There's a vending machine there. It's got a bottle of Evian for three, three euros. You're taking the piss. You serious? Anyway, um, the crap was nice. I accidentally spilled some Nutella on my shirt, and it's white, so... Now it's not coming off, so that's good. Anyway, yeah, um, this is a good time. I timed all the bookings perfectly. The weather was perfect. I didn't mention that, but the weather was perfect every time. Um, it wasn't the best it could be, but it was damn good enough. Because I was worried, because Paris ain't exactly known for like great weather. I thought, oh, it might rain, it might rain, it might be dull. Actually, no, it's not too bad. And it's a good thing I picked May as well, so it's a bit less busy than, say, August. Made all my bookings on a place called Get Your Guide. Not an advert. <laughs> there you go, there's the Versailles Palace. 
there's the Arc de Triomphe, obviously there from yesterday, got the Louvre, the PSG Stadium tour, and the bus tour was on Expedia. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> not too bad. And also the Eiffel Tower was not on either. It was on uh, the official, we official website, like the official Eiffel Tower website. I booked it directly through there. You got your three o'clock and your 10 o'clock booked it directly through them so uh, yeah because I couldn't find a day and night combination on get your guide so I just thought I'd just do it separately uh, officially through the website so yeah I booked all of these last month so I was prepared and I still ended up spending a lot of money than I, a lot more money than I thought I would I didn't, I didn't even go shopping and I still spend a lot of money I am finding my way home from the tower solo without a map that's sending me everywhere last night and I'm on the right road <laughs> believe it or not I just gotta go down there for like 10 minutes. Artillery. So ends my short stay in Paris. A damn good two days. A damn good two days. Did everything I planned to do and did it well. Did it well? What do I mean did it well? It went well I mean. It went well. Anyway, I'm gonna go, go, go back to my hotel which is just around the corner. I'm going to get my suitcase. I'm gonna sort out my suitcase because I left my laptop in my suitcase. I gotta put it in my bag because they don't allow laptops on, on uh, on suitcases on hold luggage sorry that's what i meant to say i've got to put it in your in your hand luggage so i've got to do that sort that out then i'll put the taxi to the airport and then we'll be on our way so and i've just checked in with easyjet it's not automated like in luton this time with a person um i got a boarding pass on my phone but it still gave me paper one i mean fair enough <laughs> i mean i'll take it but i don't need it um right so i'm gonna go to boarding um i actually came quite early um, probably half an hour earlier than I, than I needed to come, but yeah, um, I'm hoping to, uh, you know, find some shops and explore a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very tired of that. I fell asleep in the taxi, the guy woke me up when, when we got there. The taxi to the airport seemed to be a fixed price. It was the same price as me going to the hotel. It wasn't on a meter. It was on a meter, but the meter locked up at a specific price. So I thought that was interesting. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Good time in Paris, spend way too much money. It is what it is. I'll have to work that money back in the next couple of months. But uh, I can possibly go to another European holiday, a mini holiday in, in June. It just depends on something. On and even if I do get it back early, it will be like just before June. So it might be expensive to book. So I can't promise anything, but in August, Australia's coming, baby. I was gonna get that for my mom, but when I bought that biscuit tin, she liked it, but she said, no more sweets, I'm trying to diet. She's trying to diet, so. I was gonna get that. That was an Eiffel Tower filled with chocolates. Not, <laughs> not the worst thing to bring back from Paris. Security was funny, by the way. Uh, I mean, I got through it, but I did everything right except I forgot to uh, take my laptop out of my bag. So it got called and they had to check, double check it. Everything was fine. They didn't even open the bag. They just, you know, they, they knew the laptop was there. So yeah, I'm always forgetting something. Speaking of forgetting things, um, I've not lost anything, which is kind of nice. Like normally abroad, I tend to lose something. It just tends to happen to me because I'm, you know, I always forget things. Um, one thing I did forget was a plug cover, yeah, for my uh, laptop charger. I brought a little plastic cover just for extra protection. It's not necessary, but I left that in a hotel. But that's about it. Everything important is with me. So yeah, and the suitcase is all checked in, so it's just my bag full of things. You can't get a PS5. There's two in Paris airport that I know of. You can't even play them. Well, I've never had sushi, but I do love salmon. I've never had food with chopsticks before, so uh, this should be interesting. It definitely helps when you leave the end stuck together, so you can use it as a as a grip. I do not like soy sauce, but I'm happy to try these. Uh, sliced ginger and wasabi. I mean, it was good. It was good. It's just that I don't know if it was the wasabi or the uh, or the other thing or the garlic, but that was way too spicy. As soon as I I, I had too much of a bite in one go, 
and it just went to my nose, like the feeling, it was mad. It felt mad for like two minutes. Don't, I mean, I don't know what it was in fairness, but don't just have a mouthful of something really spicy that you can't handle, because it's going to kill you for a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was a seven out of 10. I feel like it could be better if I try it in Japan. And I do want to go there one day. Um, and also, there's people eating here who are Asian. And I feel like if they saw me, they would judge me pretty badly because of the way I use my chopsticks. Um, it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I used it as a fork in the end. Like I had them in, in one hand, but I couldn't get it wide enough to pick it up. So instead I just poked it into the thing and ate it. It worked. Oh, look how quiet it is at the terminal. This is the nice peace and quiet that I want. I probably could have spent an extra hour in France. It's now 20 minutes before my flight. The previous flight on the same gate is still boarding. So uh, yeah, um, it would be nice if this was open. There are shops open, but like before my passport was checked. So I can't go back now. in my life oh there's a third one four five six seven there's seven ps5s in this airport Just approaching 20 past 10, we are one hour behind that of France. So 
electronic devices may now be used if they are within reach for calls, messaging and internet access. Please keep your seatbelt fastened and remain seated until the signs above your head have been switched off. The doors have been opened and you've been invited to disembark the aircraft. Ensure so you take all of your personal belongings with you today, checking in the seat pocket, underneath the seat and in the overhead lockers. Do take care when opening the lockers in case things might have moved during landing and could now fall out. Please respect social distancing and allow time and space for others as you leave the aircraft today. And remember that smoking is not permitted until you reach a smoking area, which here inside this is outside of the terminal building. Being responsible for our impact on the planet is important to EasyJet. That's why we offset the carbon emissions from all fuel used on our flights by investing in projects globally, protecting against deforestation and supporting renewable energy projects. I'd like to thank you once again for flying with us this evening. It has been our pleasure looking after you on today's service. And we look forward to welcoming you again in the very near future. Thank you and have a great evening. Feeling of getting back through UK customs without seeing anyone, just you seeing a machine scanning a passport and showing your face. I don't know, it just feels like a power move. I don't need anyone to get in the country. You want gold or silver? Gold. Huh? Gold or silver? Which one? This is. This the Eiffel Tower. Do you want gold or silver? This is. Looks like uh, gold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you want the gold or the silver? <laughs> I'm offering you a present here. <laughs> For me? This yeah. One. It's a key ring. It looks like gold, huh? Yeah, I'm asking which do you want? I don't. It's not real gold. <laughs> which nine carat, no? Nine k No, I want silver, silver. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Nice. It's for you, it's not for me. You like it? Yeah, nice. This hat got so dusty in that bag. Unbelievable. Well, the packaging didn't survive the flight, but hello. Uh, open it, even though it's already open. So you can put this in your room. Uh, this is the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe, and... Uh, What's it called again? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. And the bag is for you as well. It's from the palace, from the former royal palace. You can use this. Poor baby. I don't think you should put clothes in there because they get dusty. It got dusty in my hat. But you can put other things in there. So yeah. <laughs> it actually costs a bit of money, that bag. A bit more than a regular bag would in the shop. So yeah, I got all the things that I bought for myself here. So I got a coin with the Eiffel Tower on it. Pretty cool. And another on the other side, we got the Arc de Triomphe. Actually, no, no, it's... Oh! Oh! This is the uh, one I got in Versailles. I see. I see. So this one must be... Oh, this one's Versailles. Oh. I swear. I got this at the Arc de Triomphe. Okay. No, I got this at the Eiffel Tower. I'm confused. I thought I got a coin with the Arc de Triomphe. I guess I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I've already forgotten things. Uh, there's the pack of cards. Um... I brought this home as a souvenir, I don't know why. Uh, this is the uh, price of things at the hotel. Hotel food is, I mean, hotel vending machines are never really that cheap, are they? I mean, the top ones, are with, these are vending machine things. And the bottom ones obviously are not, but at least, you know, an espresso is a euro 50. But what, what's a love can? I didn't even see what that was. Probably something French. I got my Mona Lisa to-do list, I stuck this on there, you know. She can look at me while I make lists. I, I, I feel like I can uh, do some funny things with this. I, I don't know what exactly. Um, this is that key ring with the Notre Dame, Arc de Triomphe and Eiffel Tower together. I'm not even going to put them on my keys. <laughs> um, I, I, I like key rings quite a lot, whether I put them on or not. I just think they're pretty cool little souvenirs to have. That's a very cool Arc de Triomphe uh, key ring and... Uh, well, I gotta take that sticker off. It's not a sticker, it's like a cardboard packaging. But they make these look small. I got the Shard, which is in London. This is the tallest tower in the world at the moment, and I got a mini version of it. Yeah, not to scale, clearly, but I'm glad I got these two, because these are proper. I put them in my suitcase as well, so they survived the flight, which is nice. The packaging of the other one that I gave my mum didn't. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, it goes well. <laughs> I mean, some of these are just from me when playing football when I was younger, but that's a souvenir from Dubai. Desert as well, into the deserts as well. Dubai, oh, this is where I live, obviously, London. And you've got the two Paris ones here. Um, definitely should have bought an Empire State when I went in 2012 to America. And then uh, Toronto as well, I went to the CN Tower. Definitely should have been collecting since then. But uh, yeah, it, it's building up. And I'm going somewhere else on Thursday. And it might involve an addition to this. PSG bag. We have got a t-shirt. Mona Lisa. Have you, have you seen this before? No. You, you don't recognise it? No. It's one of the most famous paintings. Of Mary. It's not Mary. It's, no, it's Mona Lisa. Mary? This is one of the most famous paintings in his in the history of the world. Right? I, I went to see it. Um, and uh, this is a t-shirt. For you? Yeah, it's for me. It's for me. Uh, this is just a cap from, uh, from Monaco. Paris. It's a PSG hat, but, you know, it says Paris on it. And it's nice white and red. How many heads have you got? How many heads? Are, uh, I do like my caps, okay? I, I like my caps. Right. Got this. A classic PSG shirt. I looked at it and I thought, hey, you know what? Let's get it. Looks cool. And next, we've got another one. See on the back of this. There we go. I forgot the hat that I was wearing. Uh, Louvre. <laughs> Got this from the Louvre Museum, obviously. That's me signing out for this vlog. Both of these vlogs will be fairly late. Obviously, they're on Monday and Tuesday. You'll probably see them, hopefully, Thursday and Friday. That'll be the earliest anyway. Hopefully, I can edit them all, edit them both on Wednesday, which is after I wake up. Um, at least one of them will be edited by then. And then there'll be another vlog for one more day trip, which you will see. Um, and hopefully... That's all uploaded by this end of this weekend. It's in Europe, all right? It's nowhere like really far. It's, it's, it is in Europe and it is a day trip. Of course it's in Europe. Um, I'm not doing that much there. Like it's not, not like I'm gonna run around exploring. I'm gonna explore a bit, but I'm going there for one big thing. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna chill. There's also a beach near there. So that's the clues you'll get. There's a beach close and uh, it's not France. It is in Europe. Look how fancy this is, man. You open this and then there's more. There's like, is this two separate packs of cards? Like, is that what I'm seeing? It is. Wow.